Good morning, everybody. God bless you indeed. So I want to bring a quick word this morning. You know, there are many people who contact ministries and contact you and, and etc. And, you know, there are many people who don't know or who aren't sure what God has called them to do, etc., etc., etc. But I want to say something here. When you are waiting on Jesus Christ, wait means wait. You're having many people in the ministries around the world trying to be promoted too fast. They want God to promote them, but they do not even have a sincere, genuine relationship with Jesus. Are you hearing me? There are many, it is like they, they are looking to find someone who would just accelerate them, though they know in their hearts they're not even in right standing with God. This is a very dangerous path to take. Because for people who do that kind of stuff, they might find a past out there that they, they try to manipulate or think they can easily manipulate that past to put them in a position. And then they get so much terrible warfare that they die in the battle. They die in the battle because, number one, God never called them to that position. Number two, it was not the will of God. Number three, they use manipulation to get what they want. And now they enter into a battle that they die in that warfare battle. You see, moving outside of God's perfect divine timing can cause you spiritual and even physical death. Moving outside of God's perfect divine timing can cause you spiritual and physical death. Either or or both. Either or or both. Because, you see, we're not supposed to run ahead and tell Jesus, follow us. We're supposed to be led by the Spirit of God and being led by Him and not of in front of Him doing all kinds of things and then telling Him to chase us. Some people, I know, it could be relevant at times or at times it could be relevant where sometimes you hear God is waiting on us. Let me tell you something. If Jesus calls us, if you answer to the call and you are being led by the Spirit, the Lord Jesus Christ will move you forward. He knows how to get you from point A to point B. It's a difference if you boldly, plainly reject his leading, that you find yourself stagnant, etc. Many are trying the fast way. It is as if they're trying to, you know, you will find people like this running from church to church, ministry to ministry. Going from church to church, ministry to ministry, organization to organization, because you will... You will even find people, they don't understand why I've been here. Nothing in happening for me. It's because, listen carefully. False prophets and some pastors have taught error that if you are someplace and it looks like you ain't moving forward, then something's wrong. Nothing is wrong. That is a, a doctrinal error. You know why? Because the things of God are not always... In the pace that we expect them to be. There's a season for acceleration. There's a season for all of that. But they're not always in the pace that we expect it to, to be. So when they go and, they, and then things come home. Oh, I don't know. I get in so much warfare. Maybe I'm someplace I, sh I should not have been. Oh, I, I put in money there and this and that happening. Your heart is wrong. Your life is wrong. Something's wrong. Because if you look at God that way and the things of God that way, you would never successfully be able to fight through a battle, to see the results, to persevere. Such people are the ones who chase false prophets. They, they are looking for this quick promotion. They are looking for this quick, you know, it don't matter their state. They don't care. They just want to be seen. They want to be lifted up. They want to be flying like a flag high above here am i look i'm here god has put me up there are many people in those positions now whom the lord will say get thee go from me i do not know you so refuse to choose that path and that way 
You know, there's some people, oh, I, 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 you know, you're all over the world. Oh, I give into ministry. Nothing ain't happening. Hey, listen, you give into Jesus Christ. When you're giving to the Lord, his timing will bring forth in its correct season. Are you hearing me? So what am I saying? Is the, doc is the doctrinal error that we're talking about. Otherwise, you'll find yourself within the next 10 years going through 10, 15, 20 different churches. The problem is not with the churches. Perhaps some, you know, if you go to a, a, a church that's false. Okay, we're not talking about that kind of stuff. I'm talking about normal churches. The problem is you, the individual. You are the one that have the problem. Are you hearing me? So there are people out there who are trying to take this fast route. They have received the spirit of the false prophets. They are walking under that false anointing, that marine anointing, that marine mandate and mantle that was put on them. And they're actually operating as false brethren and false sistering because that's what was given to them from the previous ministries where they operated under. Listen. When you give to the Lord Jesus Christ, the reason I'm hitting giving is because this is, is, is a very big issue. And you can hear how, lately how often I've been on with this. When you give to the Lord Jesus Christ, that's between you and the Lord. You don't give to the Lord Jesus Christ for promotion in a church, for position in a church. If you are doing that, you have to admit you are practicing sorcery, divination, which is witchcraft. You have to admit that you're practicing witchcraft because if you do that to buy the servants of God or whatever, you are operating under the spirit of witchcraft. You have to know and see what you're doing right from wrong. So what I want to say today is that do not choose, do not choose the fast way or the highway. Because the highway, sometimes you go on the motorway or the freeway, whatever, and you get stuck in traffic. But you go on the slow little winding road. There ain't no traffic on there. You pass a farm on a donkey and you get to your destination. Maybe take you twice as long, but there ain't no traffic on there. Backed up for 10 and 15 hours. The things of Jesus Christ comes with perseverance faithfulness there's some people who ain't even faithful you could be faithful in giving but you're not faithful in other things amen you could be doing that but behind the scenes you're not faithful in other things what are we saying the things of jesus christ is a process it is not a microwave system it is not a microwave system it's a process because process is part of your purpose if you never go through the process correctly, chances are you might head out into that purpose outside of God's timing in a hurry. See, a lot of these young boys, especially I'm seeing in Africa, just popping up like popcorn. Oh, this big prophet, this and that, and it's, it's, it's pure rubbish. Are you hearing me? What are we saying here, somebody? Not out of pride, but out of humility. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart. Everybody isn't called to be an apostle, a pastor, prophet, teacher. Everybody isn't called to the fivefold ministry. What you need to identify is what Jesus Christ wants you to do, even if it's to sweep whatever he wants you to do and do it. Many people are just climbing for these positions that God didn't even call you to. That might never be your portion. He's trying to save you from yourself, from falling. Shalom. A word to the wise should be enough. I salute you. God bless you. Speak to you soon. Bye.